What is up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? Today we're gonna open up a box from Michael Barber. This is some Nano Blue Tetras. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm so excited. I just got home from work. I'm rushing to uh, get this box open and go ahead and get these fish acclimated. Uh, this is a group of Teto Charax Tobompotensis, which is a Nano Blue Tetra. Not really in the hobby, uh, this is a, a cold water cold water tetra from the uh, the high elevation mountains of Peru. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and check it out, see how they're doing. They're very sensitive fish. Uh, when we were collecting them, if you were to touch their slime coat with your hands, if you were to touch them too much with your fingers, you could actually cause enough stress to kill them. So these fish definitely are pretty sensitive. Uh, I'm really excited to have these fish. They're probably my favorite fish. Uh, that I had found, I really, really fell in love with them just because they're such a nano fish and they are also just brilliant in color and the kitty cat wants to get in on this. Uh, let's see, let me go ahead and just delicately get into this. I don't know exactly how he packaged it. Let's see, oh nice. We do have an air hole in it for oxygen in the top. Uh, I see a little bit of an air hole in there for oxygen. There is a heat pack, uh, which is perfect when people are sending stuff down because the heat pack is going to die off by the time they get here. Uh, the water is nice and warm. Warm, I'd actually like it a little cooler. It's funny, it's the opposite for me. <laughs> it's so warm in this room right now with the AC off so I can film for you guys. It's like I'm ready to actually warm, cool these fish off. Um, let's see, we are looking at... They're really sensitive. I expected some deaths. No totally you know no offense to Michael Barber but I totally expected some deaths there is one dead in the bag here out of this group one dead and the rest are alive they definitely need to uh, to get into some into some cooler water if anything this is a little warm for them um, everybody looks alive in this bag they're broken up into four different bags all the same fish Let's see, looks like he did them about five or six in each bag. Everybody looks alive in there. And, wow, they're doing pretty good. They're gonna, I just gotta get them through the shock. I wanna get them into some cooler water and get them into another tank. But um, everybody's alive in here. So it only looks like there was one, one death for sure at this point. Now, like I said, he's a really fragile fish, so I'm not counting anything at this point. I still need to get them into a tank, let them acclimate, uh, and and just you know give them some couple of days because a couple of them might still die. Um, they're just really sensitive. Uh, I really respect these fish. I think they are a really unique fish, and and I I'm honored to have some of them in my fish room in my home. Uh, super excited about this. I can't wait to share them with you guys. Actually went ahead and gave them a few days to uh, de-stress, color up, and just relax. Uh, I've been feeding them baby brine shrimp as well as Hikari uh, first bites. It's like a powdered baby food uh, for fry and stuff like that. They're really, really small fish, so they definitely need uh, like the smallest things possible. So baby brine shrimp, 
Uh, they will be getting some uh, banana worms, Walter worms, uh, micro worms, and stuff like that as well to supplement the uh, baby brine shrimp. But they are beautiful fish. If you catch them with the light bouncing off of them just right and you get this nice iridescent blue uh, kind of flash off of them. Uh, I did notice after they colored up that there is one random fish in here. Uh, he's another Teocharax. It's not actually the dwarf neon tetra or the neon blue tetra or the nano blue tetra. It's actually uh, the Teocharax Madeira, I believe, if I pronounce that properly. Uh, it's another Tinacharax that's found in the uh, Madre de Dios uh, River Basin there in uh, northern Peru and uh, Colombia and whatnot. I have to be really honest that I'm so stoked to have these fish. I was, I really fell in love with them when I was in Peru, and it was, uh, it was really the only fish that I wanted to bring back, honestly. So I'm really happy that I have about. It looks like I have. 17 now technically of the nano blue tetra I had one a DOA a dead on arrival and then I also had one that passed away last night he was acting really really funny didn't make it very long and I had to go ahead and flush him down the toilet and then the other the third one is the uh, this other species of uh, Tetocharax so there's actually 17 nano blue tetra or dwarf tetras or uh, the actually the Spanish name for them I believe is uh, Mojarita is the Spanish name for this fish uh, but I've got them in this tank you can see there's a lot of leaf litter at the bottom there's definitely some tannins building up in here uh, the pH is about 6.8 or so and uh, I'm just I'm just gonna watch them and see how they go I'm gonna give them a couple more days before I start to go through uh, some quarantining and uh, start medicating and whatnot but I definitely want to give them a little bit of time to kind of get comfortable, get some food back in their uh, in their gut first before I start hitting them with a bunch of medications. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, this is definitely a little bit more of a rare fish. You're not going to really find it in the fish stores. You're, it's not really in the hobby due to the fact that it's such a fragile fish. Very hard to ship this fish. So definitely stay tuned uh, to more on the story of these Nano Blue Tetra. I'm definitely interested in trying to breed them. We'll see where that goes. You know, it's going to take a little time. I definitely need to build up an infusoria tank that I can spawn them in in hopes that I can actually uh, rear up these microscopic fry that are going to come from this fish. But um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you're not subscribed to this content and you like it, you want to see more of it, please go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to hit that bell icon for all notifications. And remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.